get started, turn the computer on. To get started, turn the computer on. Hello, my name is Jackson, and today I will be showing you what this is. Now, if you look at this, what do you see? Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of time to think about that. Okay, so, you may be thinking that, well, you probably don't know what this is. And so, let me just show you how this works. The goal of this project is to pop this balloon right here. So, and we are going to use it using only simple machines. Now, when you look at this, you are looking, believe it or not, you are looking at a screw. Now, if you look at this, at these nuts, you notice that if you could loosen them, you could pull this a little back, and so this would fall. And so, then, once it does fall, it would fall down this other simple machine called an inclined plane. And it is held together by screws, but these are actually not simple machines. All these are doing are holding this in place. And so once it falls down the inclined plane, it will drop into this pulley supported by a wheel and axle. Or... Usually, it's just called a grooved wheel. Then, the weight of this will make this go down. And then, if you see that, you can see how, where that's tied, that's actually considering it a lever. Because where that rope is tied would be where the fulcrum would be. And then, this over here is a wedge. And then, it would rise up and pop the balloon. Now, I also had many failed attempts, and, uh, but before we get to that, I would like to do this in three, two, one. shocked. At this time, I am going to describe some of the attempts that I've had and failed. One of the first attempts, one of the first attempts I had, using catapults. Now, what I would do was I would set the catapult up like that, and then something would keep it in place, and then this would allow something to fall down the little chute there and break its support, making it launch something. I did the same idea with this, but neither of them allowed, but neither of them... Uh, had enough force to break it. Another idea that I had was using a lever. And so, like, it would be like that, and then it would drop down, and then there would be a nail going through here, which would pop the balloon. This was also failed. These are just a few of my failed attempts. I've also had a lot more, and these are just a couple of my failed attempts. And so, I'll see you next time when I might possibly shrink a hippo's head.